So by the time you watch this, I'll be 28 years old. And I gotta say that 27 overall was pretty good. We had our first sponsor this year, which shout out to Magic Mind because I have been drinking these nonstop. I've absolutely been obsessed with them. These mental performance shots have helped me in so many different ways. I don't need coffee in the morning. When I go to the gym, because I go to the gym very, very early, I usually go before work. I don't drink any coffee. I don't take any supplements. All I do is I'll take a shot of this when I get to the gym, take it right in the car, feel like it wakes me up. It tastes pretty good. It has all these different vitamins and minerals that you need, and they're all natural coming from the ground or coming from sources. There's nothing fake or artificial about it, and I absolutely love them. Love the way it tastes, and I feel like ever since I've started taking Magic Mind, I feel like mentally I've been a lot better. And although this year has been a lot of maintaining, you know, my channel in the past has been about weight loss and like physical fitness and stuff like that. The goal for this year truly was just to maintain and slowly progressively lose more weight. Have I lost like a shit ton of weight this year? No, I have not. But from even just last birthday to this birthday, I'm down another 11 pounds. We're down 51 to 52 pounds overall, which is fantastic. I have no complaints whatsoever. That is a victory in my book because for the longest I could not even just maintain my weight, maintain positivity, maintain so many different things and maintain consistency. And this year I was worried about consistency. I was worried about getting better every day, progressing not only in the gym, but just in life. And I want to say that I believe that we've been doing that. And we tried some different things this year. We tried a professional wrestling seminar, which we did. It was awesome. And the goal this year was to at least attempt match one or at least go in the direction of match one. I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out how we could do this. And I, truth, truth be told, I'm nervous. I'm afraid. That's why there hasn't been much filming. Not only that, but like we're not into it yet. So it's like all I've been doing is waking up. I go to the gym. I go to work. I go home and that's it. But on top of all that, 100% being completely transparent. I'm nervous about it. I'm afraid about it. I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of not it not going well. This has been something that I've wanted to do since I was a child. And I just want it to work out and I want it to go well. And on top of everything else, I do have knee issues. I have to still see a doctor, which hopefully I can go in like November to see. So I want to do that before I even start because I don't want to start and then just something bad happens. I'm, I'm, I am worried about that being 100% transparent. But today of all days, I saw a quote and it resonated so well with everything that I'm talking about right now, which is fear is afraid too. Fear is afraid of you too. Interesting. Uh, Break that down. And, and if you if you run at like nobody runs from happiness, fear is deathly afraid of the day where you turn around and be like, I'm not fucking afraid of you. It's yeah. funny you and say that. And then it loses all power. You can be afraid to do something. You can be afraid to try something. But once you do it and you look fear in the face and you say, fuck you, I'm not afraid of you. Hearing that and thinking of that, shout out to Nikki Cass because that's where I got it from. And for a long while I was torn. I really wanted to go to the Monster Factory, but it's just not in the cards. I can't do it. I can't travel there two to three times a week on top of my job, which I travel enough as is. So like I could be in upstate New York and then if I have to drive all the way down, it could be like a three to four to five hour drive. I can't do it on just a normal day. It's just not gonna work out. But I lucked out. There is a facility about 30 to 35 minutes away from me, which is totally doable. I've already met and spoke with them. Nothing is locked in place yet, but it's seeming to be that way. And that facility, that training system is ECPW, East Coast Pro Wrestling. And the plan for that is to start in about one to two months. The goal is December, like the first week of December, the first Monday in December. But I'm also very open to pushing it back to January, just the start of the new year. Clean slate, everything like that, because I wanna take care of a lot of stuff first. But leading up to that, I have been training. I even bought a program. Yeah, I bought it. I didn't illegally download or anything like that. I bought Teron Beckham's something athlete, hybrid athlete program. I just didn't feel like making my own. I just, I don't wanna think about it. I wanna just see what I have to do for that day go to the gym and that's it. And it's been working out well. I think it fits well with my schedule. I'm in there for about 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes a little bit longer if it's a weekend and it's been fantastic. The whole thing with filming in the gym, I still don't really understand what's going on with that, but I do need a new phone. My phone battery is trash. So I haven't been able to just film even just normal workouts because I'll wake up with hundred percent battery and two hours later, I'm already at like 70, 75. So I don't want to spend time filming because then my battery will be completely drained for the day and I need it for work. But we are training, we've been training. We're doing well. I know it's been like a couple months. I haven't posted anything, but we're here. We've just been working in silence. It's just something I chose to do. But if you follow me on Instagram at the Mike Sanchez underscore, you know I'm still working. You know I'm still training. 
we're getting better every day and we're still going after the dream we're still going after the goal that we set this year and that goal is still match one